So hi, it's Lewis here again, and I want to have a quick conversation about the topic of meaning and purpose again. And the reason I want to do this is because in the, in the current crisis, uh, you know, with the COVID-19 outbreak uh, causing so much disruption to everybody's lives and to business and to governments and these sorts of things, we've seen this surge in uh, opinion in the me on social media and in, in the press. Uh, saying things like, you know, this is the big reset, or, you know, this is the thing that we needed in order to get back to basics. And, you know, there's a, there's a, um, they're using words to kind of describe why this was uh, a useful and important thing to occur to us. And it's funny because, well, I say it's funny, it, it's in interesting to reflect on this, because what we're really seeing there is the nature of human nature really coming out. There is a need almost to have the problems that we're facing make sense to us. You know, humans are meaning making entities. We seek meaning in everything we do in our lives. And so when we experience a big problem, we start to make up stories about why that problem is necessary or useful, why it makes sense for us. And, you know, we should keep in our minds that really the current environment has nothing to do with making sense. The virus didn't appear magically to help us figure out, you know, how to, uh, you know, address climate change or to focus on our priorities. It was serendipitous. It was, you know, something uh, that was entirely to do with chance. Um, timing of, for the virus is irrelevant. But I note in culture, of course, we, we start to explain this in ways uh, and start to tell us our stories that help us make sense of this. So we can learn important lessons from that, that you know, uh, we have a tendency to make stuff up uh, and to identify things as meaningful when perhaps they are not. But also, perhaps this tells us a little bit about what we need in our lives. When we're experiencing problems, we want to understand or have a story about why those problems are occurring. And for organizations, there's a, there's a good lesson in that. People need a, a story so that they can make sense of what's happening to them. And if you can tell them that story and help people connect to it, they're far more likely to engage. So tell me what you think, you know, what kind of stories are you using uh, right now to help you through this period? And uh, what, what ones have you noticed that have been particularly amusing for you? Let me know in the comments.